Hello, and a very warm welcome back to... Mark the Benteen's potty time! Take one! Cool. <laughs> Beautifully done yet again, Clarence. And this particular potty time, I'd like to talk to you about jewels. Not just any jewels, but the British Crown jewels. Now, of course, they belong to the British people, and therefore, to keep them safe, they're guarded in the Tower of London. Now, there have been one or two attempts to rob the tower, one by Captain Peter Blood many, many years ago. But since then, really, there hasn't been a serious attempt by criminals to try and steal the crown jewels. <laughs> I should jolly well think not. <laughs> no robber is going to be potty enough to try and steal the crown jewels. Eh, Braithwaite? Oh, I should think not, sir. No potty robber would try that one, sir. Not with you around, sir. And who are you? <laughs> I'm Chief Superintendent Bullfinch of Scotland Yard. Oh. Better known as Bullfinch of the Yard. Oh. The terror of every criminal in Britain, sir. And is it your job to guard the Crown Jewels? No, no. Oh, dear me, no, no. No, oh. no that's the job of the Beef Eaters at the Tower of London. Oh. We just see to it that the Beef Eaters get plenty of warning of any attempt that might be made to steal the Crown Jewels. And are there? Are there what? Are there many attempts to steal the crown jewels? <laughs> of course there are. <laughs> but we aren't fools, you know. Oh. oh, dear me, no. We're not just a pretty face and a smart uniform. <laughs> we check up on everyone. So, first of all, who might you be? Oh, my name is uh, Benteen, uh, Michael, Michael Benteen. Oh, Potty time. exactly, I thought <laughs> so. <laughs> Recognised you immediately. Thank you. <laughs> I've got what they call a photographic memory. <laughs> Didn't I, Braithwaite? That you did, sir. But you can't be too careful, you know. No. As a matter of fact, we've just received word from our colleagues in the United States of America that a gang of crooks there have sworn to steal the crown jewels. And do you actually know who, who they are? Oh, yes, indeed, we do know who they are. Ah. <laughs> Big Louie and Little Louie, <laughs> two of the most dangerous gangsters in America. We even have an accurate description of them. Yes, uh, let me see now. They will be disguised as American tourists. One is a big one, and one is a small one. And they'll both be wearing raincoats and hats. <laughs> uh, good morning, gentlemen. Morning, a copper. Morning, a copper. Who are they? <laughs> Visitors to London. <laughs> Typical tourists. <laughs> we always try to make them feel welcome. Part of our job, you know, is the world's finest police force. Oh, yeah. <laughs> morning, gentlemen. Enjoy your stay here. American, eh? Sure, a copper. That's right, a copper. Hey, little Louie, we sure are full of the cops in these disguises, eh? <laughs> we sure did, big Louie. They sure didn't recognize us, them dumb cops. <laughs> Don't underestimate the British police. They are very efficient. Keep your mind on your job. The stealing of the crown jewels. Sure, Brain. We steal the crown jewels, all right. Don't you worry about that. Sure, Brain. We know what we're doing. Eh, Big Louie? You're dead right, little Louie. Good. Then we just go over the plan once more. At midnight, you enter the Tower of London in your disguises as American tourists. You break into the glass cabinet, steal the jewels, and make your getaway by boat. I'll be waiting for you at the trader's gate. Okay, Brain, we want to let you down. <laughs> Crown the jewels, here we come. Hey, little Louie? <laughs> sure, big Louie. <laughs> ah, there you are again, gentlemen. <laughs> now, watch out for the traffic. <laughs> Good day to you. Ciao, copper. Sure, ciao, copper. Nice to see such friendly relations between the police and the visitors. <laughs> oh, yes, it pays off in the long run, you know. Of course. <laughs> now, why don't you interview the beef eaters at the tower, sir? Yeah. They will know all about the crown jewels. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. Come, Braithwaite. We must get on with our constant battle against international crime. Aye, aye, sir. Bye-bye. Yeah. Well, I think I'll go off to the Tower of London now. I want to know some more about those American gangsters. Hello? Hello? Hark, who goes there, oh. friend or foe? Uh, friend, my name is uh, Benteen from uh, Potty Time. Oh, that's my favourite 
program. Really? <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? Who are you? I'm Beefeater Braithwaite. Braithwaite? Have you got a relation in the police? Oh, oh I do indeed. Yes, that's my boy. Oh. My son, Bert Braithwaite. Oh, really? I'm very proud of that lad. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs> now, uh, what can I do for you, sir? Well, we're going to do a programme about the security precautions for the Crown Jewels. Oh. Really? How interesting. Oh, yeah. well, you'll, you'll want to talk to my chief beef eater, Mr. Bloggs. Oh, good. <laughs> Mr. Bloggs? Yes, Braithwaite? It's Mr. Benteen, a reporter from Potty Time, to see you, sir. He wants to know about us guarding the Crown Jewels. Well, now, Mr. Benteen, yeah. you can rest assured that the Crown Jewels are quite safe. Quite safe. Go on. With Braithwaite and myself guarding them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good morning. Good morning. Ciao, a fellas. <laughs> sure, a fellas, a ciao. Enjoying your visit to the Tower of London, gentlemen? A murder, Benny. Sure, it's a fine at the Tower of London. It's a bellissima. It's a very nice. It's a very nice. Don't miss the crown jewels. <laughs> and a wonderful sight, you know. Yes. The first on the left, and then straight on. Can't miss them. Oh, you love the crown jewels, gentlemen. We sure will, a fellas. <laughs> ciao. Sure, fellas, ciao. Yes, we always try to make our overseas visitors feel at home in the tower. <laughs> hey, Braithwaite. Oh, we certainly do that, Mr. Bloggs. Yes. What sort of precautions do you normally take to oh, guard the Crown Jewels? Eternal vigilance. Eternal vigilance. Right. Yes. Day and night, we beef eaters guard those precious jewels with our lives. Yes. Hey, Braithwaite. Oh, that we do, Mr. Bloggs. We are also, of course. Backed by all the modern anti-burglary equipment, oh. such as infrared, invisible rays, electronic detection defences, and, of course, closed-circuit television. Oh, I'd, I'd like to see someone just try and get through our security network. <coughs> oh, heck, someone has. Nonsense, Braithwaite. It's probably one of the Tower Ravens has flown fluttering its little wings into the infrared beam. Oh, a false alarm? Of course. No one, but no one, would seriously try and steal the crown jewels. <laughs> Not unless they were stuck raving potty. <laughs> Check the alarm system, Braithwaite. Hands up! Don't anybody move! Well, now. Uh, what's going on, then? You, you in the fancy dress. Don't move the muscle, or a little Louie will rub you out. Rub me out? Sure, a big Louie. One a false move from the big fella in the red frock, and I give him the works. Now, look here, whoever you are. I don't know what your game is, but you're disturbing the peace of the tower. So I must ask you to accompany me to the chief constable of the tower, who will take down your particulars. <laughs> you hear that, little Louis? The big fella in the fancy suit wants to take down our particulars. <laughs> Stop a fooling around. And you, a big fella, don't try anything. We got the crown of jewels here, and we're coming through. Well, I'm sorry you're behaving like this. So, <clears throat> now, by the authority invested in me as beef eater in charge of the crown jewels, I must warn you that anything you say will be taken down in writing and may be used in evidence. You crazy beef eater! Now quit the yapping and get out of the way! Sure, move over, beef eater! Right. You ask for it, you two. You two Gog and Zola eaters. Breath wet, give them one blast over their heads. Hands up! <laughs> we give up! Don't shoot no more! Don't shoot the big gun no more! Sure, we give up, be fetus. We give up. So you see, we know what we're doing. A new one, but no one gets the British crown jewels. What will you do with uh, Big Louie and Little Louie? Well, they'll probably be deported straight back to the United States. Oh, yeah. The American police will deal with them there. <laughs> By the way, we caught their leader too, you know. Who was? Uh, who was that? The brain. Yes, that's what they called him. The, the brain. brain. <laughs> this the brain. is the brain. That's the brain. I wonder who well, it is. See for yourself, sir. And oh. mask him. And mask him. 
Good heavens, it's a real brain, an electronic Just computer. Just as we suspected. <laughs> that uh, that oh. gang has been using an electronic brain to plan their crimes. <laughs> Clever, eh? Yes, but then he must have known your every move. I mean, being an electronic brain and all that. Oh, the brain did. Oh, yes, it knew our every move. <laughs> but it reckoned without one thing in trying to outwit the British police. Really? One all-British thing beat the brain. And what was that? Our all British power cuts. We caught it when it wasn't working. <laughs> hey, Braithwaite! <laughs> oh. oh, that, that we did, Sha! Oh, dear, that we did! Well, if you'd like to see some more adventures of the potties, why don't you join us? Till then, bye bye. <laughs>